वेलकम बैक है सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज चियाकी ऑन योर रॉग एल है चियाकी इज अ फ्री एंड ओपन सोर्स प्ले स्टेशन रिमोट प्ले क्लाइंट यूज फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ स्ट्रीमिंग पी एस फोर और पी एस फाइव गेम्स टू एनी ऑफ योर डिवाइसेज इट्स अवेलेबल ऑन डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक विंडोज मैक ओएस लिनेक्स एंड इवन एंड्रॉइड ऑन माई स्टीम डेक आई वॉज यूजिंग अ फोक ऑफ चियाकी कॉल चियाकी फोर डेक आई ट्राइड यूजिंग इट ऑन रॉग एल एज वेल बट ऑफ जोर पोअर परफॉर्मेंस कनेक्शन वॉज ड्रॉपिंग फ्रीकुंटली आई डेट सम रिसर्च एंड फाउंड आउट अ चियाकी फोक कम्पेटेबल विद रॉग एल है will be showing you its setup process in this video in order for streaming to work using chiaki we need to have a ps4 or ps5 console a rog ally need to enter a psn id in chiaki need to enable remote play setting on our console and generate a pin that will be used for the purpose of pairing our console with chiaki for the most stable experience it is recommended to connect both of the devices to the router using a wired connection both devices being on the same network personally i just connect my PS4 to the router using a wired connection, and my ally is connected to the same network using a 5 gigahertz band Wi-Fi channel. Do not use a 2.4 gigahertz band Wi-Fi channel for the purpose of streaming. It can cause some stuttering issues. Now I'll be downloading the application. We'll be using the fork released by GBG77. I'll drop the link to this website in the description of this video. Just click on chiaki-win64.zip file. Once the download is complete, open File Explorer. Click on Downloads. There is the archive file that we just downloaded. Extract its contents. Right click. Click on Extract All. Click on Extract. There is the folder. Open it. There is the exe file. You don't even need to install anything. I have already scanned it using Virus Total. This is the result. Nothing suspicious detected. Just launch the exe file. Windows Defender Smart Screen will prevent it from starting as it does not recognize it. Just click on More Info. Run anyway. This application is safe to run. This prompt will show up. Just click on Allow. Network Access. Both Ally and PS4 are connected to the same network. Chiaki has already detected my PS4. Here it's mentioned that the console is unregistered. So first we need to register our console. Just click on the Settings cog here. Then click on Register New. From here, select your console. I'm not using a PS5. I'm using a PS4, and its firmware is newer than version 8. So I selected this option. Then we need to provide a PSN ID in base 64 form. I'll show you how to obtain this. Just go to this website, psn.flipskin.games. I'll provide it in the description of this video. In this bar, enter your PSN ID, and then click on submit. Its base 64 form will be generated. There it is. Just click on copy here. Paste it in this bar, right next to PSN ID. Next, we have pin. Need to enable remote play setting on our console and generate the pin there. I'll show you the process. All right, my PS4 has started. Just need to go to settings. Through here, scroll down until you find remote play connection settings. Open it. Make sure enable remote play setting is checked from here. Then select add device. A pin will be generated. This pin will be valid for five minutes upon its expiration. A new pin will be generated. You just need to enter the latest pin in Chiaki. That's it. We are done here. I have entered the pin. Now just click on register. The console has been successfully registered. In the background, you can see console state change from unregistered to registered. I'll quickly go through the settings. DualSense support setting check. DualSense haptics work only when the gamepad is connected to the device via USB mode. Adaptive triggers work using both USB and Bluetooth modes. Emulated haptics enabled. Enables haptics feedback emulation when the device's native haptic function is not available. Works with both Bluetooth and USB modes. Resolution set at Full HD, but this is only for PS5 and PS4 Pro. You can select from any of these values. Standard PS4 only streams at 720p resolution. I'll still stick with Full HD. Resolution will automatically drop to 720p. FPS set to 60. Bit rate set to automatic. It's around 15,000 megabits per second. You can always specify a manual value. Just click on the bar next to bit rate. Type in the value. I'll stick with automatic. Codec H265. This is for PS5 only. For PS4, H264 codec will be used. I'll stick with H265. H264 will be automatically used for PS4. Audio buffer size default. This is very important hardware decode method. These are the different decode methods that are available. 
I used D3D11VA. It helped in improving the performance. Image quality was crisp. GPU is used for the purpose of decoding the stream. By default, most of the PlayStation controls are already mapped to ROG Allies controls. From our side, we only need to map two PlayStation controls to ROG Allies controls. These controls are PlayStation button and trackpad click. I'll be assigning them to Allies back grip buttons. We'll also show you how to map these controls to an external gamepad. I'll be using DualSense controller. Chiaki assigns PlayStation button to Escape keyboard key and trackpad click to T keyboard key. Now I'll add Chiaki CXE file to my Steam library. Click on Close. Open Steam, click on Library, click on Add a Game here, then click on Add an on-stream game, click on Browse, navigate to the directory where you extracted Chiaki's archive file, in my case it's Downloads, Chiaki Win64 folder, open the folder again, there's the exe file, double click, make sure it's checked, then click on Add Selected Programs, it has been added, I'll just connect my DualSense controller to ROG LR via Bluetooth mode. Now I can customize its controls. Just click on the gamepad icon here under Chiaki. I'll just assign PlayStation's PS button to DualSense controller's left trackpad click and PlayStation's trackpad click to DualSense controller's right trackpad click. Click on trackpads. This is left trackpad click. I have assigned it to escape key. And this is right trackpad click. I have assigned it to T key. That's it. Now open army create application, need to assign the playstation buttons to rog allies back grip buttons. Just click on add here, look for chiaki.exe file, there it is. Just need to run it once for the exe file to appear here. Click on done, there it is selected. Now just click on x key here, game profile. I'll just disable vibration, ally will vibrate. Just click on key mapping, click on M1, uncheck set as secondary function, click on primary button, open keyboard, select escape, that's it, click on B, back, click on M2, secondary function, uncheck set as secondary function, click on primary button, keyboard, T key, that's it, back, close army grid. Now I can start Chiaki from Steam, like this, double tap on your console, PS4 is working, Chiaki is running in windowed mode, in order to enter full screen mode, double tap on the screen, in order to close Chiaki, just double tap on the screen again, now tap on close here, here's the icon, close that, and that's it. It's time to showcase Chiaki's performance and input response, my ROG ally is connected to a 5GHz band Wi-Fi channel. PS4 is running in the background. I'll be playing a game using both DualSense and ROG LS controller command center using the 15 watts performance profile. Full HD resolution, CPU boost disabled, don't need to use RSR. PS4 won't be able to stream games at full HD resolution. It will only stream at 720p resolution. So I'll just drop the resolution to 900p. If you have a PS4 Pro or PS5, just stick with full HD resolution. Okay, RSR kicked in. 900p resolution have scaled to full HD. Radian anti lag is enabled. I had mapped PlayStation's PS button to 12 sense controllers left trackpad click. I'll just hold it. Menu should pop up. There you go. Quick menu. Custom mapping is working. Using a custom afterburner overlay to show you the performance matrix. Total power drop 12 watts. Estimated playtime 137 minutes. Battery remaining 73. I'll just start Uncharted 3. In this game, you often need to press the PlayStation controller's trackpad. So if that prompt shows up, just press the right trackpad of DualSense controller. There's Nathan. Check out the input response. Thugs are coming. I'll throw this slender at the thugs. There they are. <laughs> that worked. Oh no, this guy has a shotgun. Need to take cover. Somehow I survived. Melee combat.
Yeah, shotgun is very powerful. Now use the AK-47. Jump by pressing the X key. Throw punches by pressing the square key. I think I cleared the area. Someone is still alive. Found them. Shoot the cylinder. Now I'll be using ROG LS controls. I have mapped PlayStation's PS button to ROG LS left back grip button. I'll just hold it. Quick menu should pop up. There it is. Custom mapping is working. I'll start Arkham Knight. This game features dark environments. Check out the input response. Game runs at 30 FPS on PS4. Dark environment is not looking blocky. Picture quality is crisp. There's Batman. Graphics look stunning. I'll engage in combat looking for some thugs. Someone saw me. Thugs were in the car. Stop the thug dead in his tracks. Timing is the key here. Just need to press the Y button when enemy's head flashes. Batman performs a counter. Played the area. Excellent performance. So guys, I'll end the video here. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.